New Life Church, this is uh, Pastor Dave coming to you for this Tuesday Devo. I wanted to share just a couple quick thoughts out of the book of Galatians. You know, we just had a time change, and as much as I hate to lose another hour of sleep, well, I love it that the days are getting longer, and it seems like it's getting light, lighter, and, and last week, man, the sun was out a couple days. I even found myself working in my yard. I love it. I love that it's a reminder that our, on our planet, we have changing seasons. No one season lasts forever. And the good news for us is that spring is coming, summer is coming, and it brings with it kind of a new chance for an outlet. I love it when uh, the weather gets better and days get longer. You see people out and about, we, even in my own neighborhood, hearing and seeing children outside playing and, and going for walks and seeing people on walks, seeing people going for runs. But, you know, it just gives you that time for an outlet, gets you outside. You know, I've always known that a, a fresh body of water, a good body of water, needs a good inlet, but it also needs a good outlet. And uh, that's what keeps it fresh. And I think one of the many results of having to stay at home in this last season, this dark season we've been in, the circumstances required us to slow down and stay in, it can lead to kind of a staleness of life because we're kind of focused on us, ourselves, our problems, our struggles. But let me tell you, the season is changing. We are coming out and uh, we need to look for an outlet, look for opportunities to serve and to give. And I think that will give us a much needed breath of fresh air. And another cool thing about being outside, you get to take off your mask. <laughs> that's what we all need, right? But I think that's what Paul was telling the Galatians. You see, Paul planted a church in Galatia and then went on to plant others. And he was gone for a period of time. And then he began to hear that people had come into the church and tried to pull these new believers back into a, a life of living all about the law and giving up the grace of Jesus. And, and they were getting bound up again. That's why he says uh, in Galatians 6, verses 8 to 10, those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. So let us not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Therefore, whenever we have opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially those in the family of faith. What he's talking about being a blessing to others. You know, we have received blessing from Jesus and we're not just to take it in, we're also to give it out. That blessing becomes even better when it's flowing in and flowing out. So my question is, who could you be a blessing to this week? Who could you serve? Uh, how could you look for a need around you that you could fill? And that, that's really where we find the grace of Jesus, where there's less of me, and more of him. That's where we find kind of fresh water coming out of our lives, fresh air, if you will, flowing out of our lives when we're serving others, thinking of others. And Paul says, whenever we have an opportunity, that means just be keeping our eyes open all the time, looking for ways to serve others. And you know what? Here's what I know. If you ask Jesus for an opportunity to serve somebody, he's probably going to give you one. It could be as small as maybe paying for the person's coffee behind you in line, maybe just uh, writing an encouragement note to someone that you know is having a difficult time, maybe just asking someone, hey, how can I serve you? How can I be of service to you? I believe that finding people in need, you don't have to go very far to find people in need, people hurting, but it is in those things that I believe will bring a fresh season. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm ready for a fresh season. I'm ready for longer days and more brightness and more sun and seeing new things happen. Well, I think Paul is saying that the key to that is thinking less of us and more of others. Let me just pray with you. Jesus, I thank you today for 
this encouragement from your word that uh, if I stay stale in my life, uh, I won't see good things happen. But if I'm life-giving, giving out of the blessing that you've given to me, if I'm looking for ways whenever I see an opportunity to serve others, if I'm doing that, there's going to be a freshness, a fresh new season in my life. God, I just pray that for my friends today in Jesus' name. Hey, God bless you as you go live the life today.